Hello, everyone. A dear sister asked me what I teach on the book of Joel. Now, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, in verse 1, Joel is talking about blowing the trumpet in Zion. Now, Zion is the city of David, Second Chronicles, chapter 5, and verse 2. Zion is the city of David. The city of David is also Bethlehem in Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6 in the land of Judah. Joel says he hears them blow the trumpet in Zion. Church, I know from the Holy Spirit of God that when Israel is taken, it will be on a Sabbath. In Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 24, we are seeing that they are blowing the trumpets on the Sabbath. And I do know when Jesus returns, it's going to be on a holy day. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and 1, Amos is also seeing Judah and Jerusalem as the mountain of God. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 2, Joel is seeing the great tribulation. You'll also see this word being established in the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 21, and Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 12. And in the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. Because it will be a time of trouble. A time like nothing ever since Israel was a nation. Yeah, that's what's coming to Jerusalem. Joel chapter 2 and verse 3, he sees a fire that is devouring before them. We see in the book of Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 14, the people of Israel will be scattered. Once those enemies come through those gates, and Egypt is coming through those gates with the enemies of Israel. Once they come into the city of Jerusalem, Israel will be scattered, and their land will be desolate. You'll see this word established in the book of Matthew chapter 21, verses 20 through 24. In the book of Revelation, chapter 9 and verse 17 and 18, John also sees the fire of the brimstone. I made a video on that. I'll get that video out on about the brimstone. Joel chapter 2 and verse 4. Joel is seeing the return of Jesus Christ after the great tribulation. Because Matthew chapter 24 and verses 29 and 28, we're seeing immediately after the great tribulation is the return of Jesus. It would go to church. Joel saw some stuff. He did. Joel chapter 2 and 4 says, The appearance of them was as the appearance of horses. Now, Revelation chapter 9 and verse 11, when Jesus returns, he's on a white horse. And Revelation chapter 19 and verse 14, that the armies that are with Jesus in heaven will follow him up on white horses. Joel chapter 2 and verse 5, he sees the chariots on top of the mountain. Woo, those chariots are the chariots of God. Psalms chapter 68 and verse 17, the chariots of God were, are 20,000, even thousands of angels. That's right. God's coming with an army, church. Joel chapter 2 and verse 7 and 8, it says they are men of war. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3 tells us the Lord is a man of war. Church, when Jesus returns, he's coming back for the battle. The battle of Armageddon. He's come to fight against that beast, and that beast will move his army against Jesus. Because Jesus is coming for Jerusalem. And that devil thinks he can stop Jesus from reigning upon and sitting upon the throne of David. For 1,000 years, Jesus will reign and rule from that throne. Because it was promised to David that his seed would sit upon that throne. And David rejoiced because God was talking about his seed uh, continuing, that it was an everlasting throne. That's good stuff right there, church. Now, in Joel chapter 2 and verse 8, it says, If these, now those that are with Christ, those that fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. That's because they cannot die. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 54, we are immortal. Ooh, I like that word right there. Joel chapter 2 and verse 9. He sees them entering in through the windows like a thief. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 43. Revelation chapter 16 and 15. Jesus said, I come as a thief. Praise God. Now, Joel chapter 2 and verse 10. He sees the earthquake. Not only does he see the heavens shaking, but the earth is going to shake also. 
That word is established in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 26 and 27. I made a video on war in heaven and earth, so I'll get that video out there to you, establishing that before Christ does return, he has to battle those that are in the heavens. That's why principalities and the powers of the air are up there. They're up there guarding that airway to battle with Christ at his return to stop him from returning. We see in the book of... Uh, now, wait a minute. Joel chapter 2 and verse 10, he also sees the signs of the return of Christ. He sees the sun, the moon, and the stars being dark. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29. We see those signs in the heavens. That is the sign that immediately after the great tribulation, the Son of Man is revealed. That's the return of Jesus with his army. That's what Joel's seeing. He sees the invasion of Israel. And it's going to be on a holy day. It is, church. I promise you, the Holy Spirit of God revealed that to me. Now, Joel chapter 2 and verse 11. Joel said, The Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is great. Now, Joel chapter 3 and 16 Joel's going to tell us some revelation knowledge. And we got that revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. Said that he will roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. Read the book of Amos chapter 1 verse 1. There's the earthquake. Amos chapter 1 and verse 2, the Lord will roar out from Zion. What is Zion, church? It is the city of David. It is in the land of Judah. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6, Bethlehem's in the land of Judah. Jesus is roaring as a lion. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. Woo! Glory! Hallelujah! That's the good stuff right there, church. Read the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verses 9 and 10 on the Lion of Judah. Here we go, church. In the book of Revelation, chapter 10 and verse 3, John hears Jesus. It is Jesus he's hearing. He cried with a loud voice as a lion roareth. When he cried, seven thunders uttered their voice. Woo! I know that revelation knowledge. I got to see that in a vision church, and it was good. Because seven is finished. Revelations 10 and 7, when the seventh angel sounded, everything was finished. There are seven trumpets, seven seals, seven days. Seven lamps of fire, seven churches, seven means finished. God finished his work on the seventh day. He finished the end from the beginning of the world. It was finished. Here we go, church. Revelation chapter 10 and 3. He cried with a loud voice as a lion roareth. When he cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. We know what he uttered. Because Joel chapter 2 and 11 is going to tell us that revelation. He said, the Lord will utter his voice before his army. What did Joel see? He sees the invasion of Israel on the Sabbath. On a holy day, Israel will be taken. They will go in there to devour the land and to kill as many Jews as they can. But praise God. God bears them Jews up on eagle wings, and he will fly them into the other nations to protect them, to keep them safe, because God's going to keep a remnant. Yes, he is, praise God. And when Israel is invaded, it will be great tribulation. Great tribulation. And the enemy will be there for three and a half years. And when that time is finished, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Woo! <laughs> oh, church, I, I'm telling you, this amazing word right here, this revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. It's good, church. Jesus will return with his army. 
upon horses, and we'll follow our Lord and Savior. And if we fall upon the sword, we will not be wounded, because we're immortal. Jesus is coming to lay all enemies underfoot. Oh, Randa Makorasi. E Darabasa Tarabakoradaba. Glory, hallelujah, glory. Woo hoo hoo. It don't get no better than that, church. It don't get no better than that. And that's what John is seeing in the book of Revelation, chapter 10. And that's what Joel is seeing in the book of Joel, chapter 2. And he sees them enter in through the windows as a thief. He sees the chariots on the mountain. And he sees an army that cannot die. An army that follows their king. And Jesus will lay all enemies underfoot. And he will stand in Bethlehem of Judah as the lion that roars. Because he is the king. Woo-hoo-hoo! He is the king. He is the heir to the throne of David. That is an everlasting throne. And it will be a time of peace when the lion and the lamb lay down together. Glory, hallelujah. I hope, my sister, you were blessed by this word. I made a promise to you I would make this video for you on the book of Joel. And uh, remember what I told you, church. Israel will be taken on a holy day. It will be the Sabbath. When they are celebrating the week of the Sabbath, they will be invaded. They will. And Jesus will return on a holy day. God bless you, church. God bless you.